Well, the only thing that I really got out of this movie is the fact that me and Toothless both use the same method for flirting. <laughs> Hello ladies and gentlemen and movie lovers of all kind and welcome back to another new release review and for today we will be covering How to Train Your Dragon The Hidden World. The story this time around goes once that a group discovers that there is another night fury they find themselves in a race against time to find the hidden world where the dragons originally came from before they themselves are found by a hired dragon killer. So we can kick off with the obvious positives and that is that this movie, its animation top notch my god they got better and better as they went you go from the first one to this one absolutely astonishing how far they've come in this short few years actually come to think about it, it's almost been a decade since the original which is insane to me regardless the animation has never been better than here everything from little stubbles of facial hair on the characters to freckles to little details on the grass and the trees and the colors in this movie Wow. And next is the cast and the voice work in this movie. Again, a top-notch team comes back. It's all your returning favorites, except for TJ Miller for obvious reasons. Just look it up. I don't got time to explain. An absolutely wonderful cast and they give it their all once again. They breathe so much life into this series with their natural humor and their charisma and their chemistry is almost unmatched. Next is something from this movie that really actually quite surprised me and that is the fact that the dragons are given so much more personality than they had before. Like I know the obvious dragons like Toothless especially had a ton of personality in the last two movies but almost every dragon gets a ton of personality in this one and that is because we spent a lot of alone time with the dragons. There's no words, there's no subtitles, it's just these dragons and the way they make their noises and the way they move and they dance and they have these kind of different methods of communication. It's absolutely stunning to watch and it's something that we desperately needed and it shows. And next is the villain. No wait, no, they actually had a good villain in this one. I mean, the first one we just had a big dragon and then the second one we had a big dragon with a little bit of Digimon Hussan in there as just kind of this generic screaming villain guy who wants to capture the dragons and have an army because tragic backstory inserted here. Now this one we actually have a really decent villain with pretty good motives and he's quite present in this movie and you always feel like he's two steps ahead of our characters it makes him very frightening and you really do feel the stakes in this movie because this villain is so good and next is another obvious one if you've seen the past two films and that is the action and the comedy again the animation makes the action so much more exciting and the comedy had me in splits like I said this cast and these characters they have that natural charisma and it just gives everything a nice flow to it all the jokes landed so again the comedy and action like the previous two are very much present in this one and is good as ever Second to last here is the relationships in this movie. Of course, the other two movies had a ton of heart in them, but I feel like there's this extra little bit in this one because you have that dynamic and that relationship between Hiccup and Astrid, Hiccup and his mother, Hiccup and Toothless, Hiccup and his father because you get some flashbacks and such in there. Then you have these other relationships like everyone else and their dragons. You get a much deeper dive into all these characters' relationships and it gives this movie such a big heart and it's something I absolutely admired about this movie. And lastly is the fact that this is the most beautiful ending that this series could have ever have gotten. Please, Hollywood, do not give us another How to Train Your Dragon. Let it end here because it couldn't have ended any better. I'm serious. It's beautiful. It almost brought a tear to my eye multiple times. It's quite possibly the best ending to an animated trilogy I've ever seen. Now, sadly, although I was just praising the last little bit of this movie, there are negatives like any other movie. The first one here is kind of nitpicky, but I feel like it borrows a few too many things from other movies. Like, there are some moments here that straight up look like they're out of Lion King and then they also have moments in there that are straight up out of Thor Ragnarok and Thor Ragnarok it was Asgard isn't a place it's a people they say the exact same things it's like oh Bark isn't a place it's a people we're Bark ourselves and I can't do the accent at all but you get the gist of it so I feel like there are a few too many moments in here where they did borrow pretty heavily and pretty noticeably from other flicks and lastly already for the negatives is that I felt that even though I loved the relationships in this movie and how much time we spent with all these different characters they spent a little too much time there because it felt like the last big epic act 
felt kind of rushed to me. It is still great and it had amazing moments in it, don't get me wrong, but it just felt like it was such a small section of the movie where the previous two movies, we had these pretty long, like the last 20 minutes, half an hour of the movie, were these great epic moments that just felt far too short for me. But with all of that being said, folks, this is so far my favorite movie to come out this year. I absolutely adored it. I can definitely see it being a top 10 contender and I'm going to give How to Train Your Dragon 3, The Hidden World, a 9 out of 10. So if you like this video, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment. Let me know, have you seen this movie yet? Be sure to check me out on social media. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Links will be in the description and at the end of the video. As always, thank you so much for watching, and that's a wrap. Hey people, so I just got back from Happy Death Day to you, and... Uh...